Hello and welcome to my next Affinity Designer pattern tutorial which I have made with the Affinity Designer pattern template. You will find the download link in the top right corner and an introduction is also provided in the info box. So let's get started. At first I would like to rename the title. I select the title, press T Double-click in the text element and type in Tartan, number one. I guess you will know this Tartan pattern, which is very popular. And I begin to start here inside my symbol while zooming in with a double-click in the drawing area. I will expand the drawing area and disable the sample text. So inside the rectangle I will draw some other rectangles. You have to take care that everything that you draw must be in a sub-layer of this rectangle. So let's get started. I would like to change the background and I will do this with the document palette and double click this color to type in a different background color which is E1C185. I will now select the insert target inside the selection and activate my rectangle tool with the key M. Now we have to draw a rectangle. This rectangle should be 16 pixel width and I will move this one to the top left corner and expand the height to 116. At next I will create some duplicates. The first one with command J and I will move that rectangle by 32 pixels to the right. So I have to add 32. This is the next one. Affinity Designer will remember this transformation so press command J to do the same operation again. I will then use the add operation even if these elements have no intersection and add them to one element. At next I will duplicate this new object, rotate it count, uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter, and move this object to the top of my symbol or my rectangle. I will then use both of these and build one object of these six rectangles with the add operation. I will now copy a hatching pattern inside this curves. I have saved that hatching pattern as an asset. So this is the this is the asset or the hatching pattern from my introduction tutorial and this one I have created before. It's a bit thinner. So the way how to create this is the same way like this. I will move this pattern from the palette into my symbol, go back to the layer panel and move this one into the curves. One main part is already finished. I will lock this object. I will now create the next rectangles inside my rectangle which is a sublayer of the symbol. Activate insert target 
activate the rectangle tool and draw my rectangle at this position. Choose the right dimensions, a height of 16 pixels and a width of 160 pixels and a fill color of white with 60% opacity. You can just press key 6 on your keyboard. So I will move that to the right position. That should be on 200, uh, 380 top right corner of this rectangle. And 656 is okay. It's 16 pixels down or 16 pixels under the top of the rectangle. I will call it the parent rectangle. So I then will duplicate this one with Command J and move this one plus 16 and again plus 16 at this position. I will then select them both, create a duplicate, will rotate them while clicking the shift key and with the move tool V you can move them into this position. So that is not perfect but if you activate force pixel alignment you can move them exactly to the right position as you can see here. I will then group them and move it under my first object which I have drawn. In the penultimate step I will draw nine squares sixteen by sixteen pixels. I will duplicate that command J move it to the left while pressing shift command J again select the other one command J again move them while holding shift to this position and hold shift option and this again and now I have my nine rectangles here which I can group and use an opacity of 80%. The last step I will draw a rectangle inside my rectangle insert target and this rectangle well sorry and this rectangle inside my rectangle and this rectangle should be 160 in height and 4 in width a fill color of this nice red which is this code 990E0E and move this one with the move tool command V to this position and subtract from the X position 12 pixels duplicate rotate while pressing shift 90 degrees move this one to the bottom of the rectangle and subtract 12 pixels from the Y coordinate and last step I will add these both rectangles with the add operation use my asset again this one move it 
onto my rectangle, go back to the layer panel and move this hatching pattern inside this curve. As you can see, I don't want to use the red color as a fill. So I select this one, set the fill to none. I would like to have the whole hatching pattern in red. So I have to select them all inside the group and use the fill color of this red with 99, 0, E, 0, E. Close, close, close. I have to use this one inside my symbol, excuse me, inside my rectangle, and this one as well. Okay. And if you now take a look at the whole document, you can see this nice, very popular tatan pattern. I go to the full view, turn off my sidebar and my tools while pressing the top key and command zero again. And I would like to say thank you for watching my tutorials. And if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time at Mensch Mesh.